John Ritzheimer, who organized uh, the event. Also with us is former FBI and CIA counterterrorism official Philip Mudd. Uh, Mr. Ritzheimer, I appreciate you being with us. So you're encouraging hundreds of armed people to gather outside a mosque during a prayer service wearing T-shirts saying F Islam. And I certainly know you have the right to protest. Everybody does in this country. But you yourself have said this is a provocation. I know you've compared it to poking a bear or kicking a hornet's nest. So what are you really trying to achieve? Uh, well, I'm really trying to achieve uh, exposing Islam and uh, the truth about what's written in the Quran. Uh, you know, uh, people, you know, even uh, Mr. Mudd that's uh, joining us, he, he's said that uh, he thinks this is a bad idea. And some would probably argue that, you know, uh, the, the signers that signed the Declaration of Independence was a bad idea uh, back in their day. So you're and comparing yourself I, to the signers of the Declaration of Independence? Uh, yeah. I, I, I just, I don't want to live in fear. I shouldn't have to live in fear. What are you um, afraid of? Uh, well, we've received a bunch of credi credible threats. Um, I've already had the police and uh, come come to my house. My family's currently packing up, and uh, they're they're going into hiding. So I understand you don't like Islam. You clearly equate Islam with terrorism. You served in Iraq. You you served proudly in the Marines, and and we should honor that service. You served in support of an Islamic government in Iraq. So if you hate Islam, how do you justify having done that? Uh, well, I. The core values of Islam is what I really hate. Um, the, right, but the you were, you were saying, promoting an Islamic government. You were helping bolster an Islamic government in Iraq. So why were you doing that? Okay, um, well, let me answer it like this. I was over there, and uh, I was over there. I was following orders. I was, I was so young. So do you feel uh, you were supporting was... terrorists while you were supporting an Islamic government in Iraq? Do you, no, no, do you I, say uh, the Marines who are, have been fighting I... in Afghanistan are supporting terrorism as well? No. No, I do not. Let me finish. Uh, I was uneducated when I went over there. I was a junior Marine following orders. Um, I was scared, but it was, I, I wasn't uneducated about Islam. It wasn't until I came home and uh, utilized my 9-11 GI Bill and then okay, I started but, studying. But now that you're allegedly educated on Islam, you were supporting an Islamic government in Iraq. So are you saying that Marines and others who are currently serving in Afghanistan and elsewhere are supporting terrorists? Uh, if if their government is going to be run uh, under Sharia law and stuff, then yeah, I, I don't well, support that. It's not Sharia law, but it is an Islamic government. So you believe that all active duty service members right now are supporting terrorism around the world? No, I do not believe that. But they're supporting Islamic governments, and you believe Islam equals terrorism? I do not believe that. You don't believe that, that Islam at, at its core is terrorism? Oh, yes. I, uh, true Islam is terrorism. Yes, the ones that are out committing these atrocities and stuff, they're following the book as it's written. So let me bring in Phil. Phil, in terms of what the U.S. is trying to achieve in the Islamic world, what Marines and others are fighting and dying for, do events like this thing that's going to happen tomorrow in Phoenix, do you believe it actually hurts the U.S. outreach to the vast majority of the Muslim world? I see this kind of event and I look at ISIS and I know what they're going to say. This is proof that what we're telling you to recruit you out of Denver, out of Phoenix, out of Los Angeles, out of New York, that that's true. They talk to you about democracy, free speech, and living with your religion, regardless of what it is in America, but they don't live that in practice. Mr. Ritzheimer, I think Phil brings up an interesting point. Aren't you playing into the narrative of ISIS, of Al-Qaeda, which are, is basically trying to say there's a war between Islam and the West, and you have to choose. You can't be a Muslim in the United States. You have to be opposed to the United States. Aren't you playing into their hands? This is, isn't this exactly the reaction and the message that the terrorists want? Sure. Sure, it is? So, sure. Okay, so you're playing into ISIS and Al-Qaeda hands. Do you feel good about that? Uh, I'm just I'm just doing what I have to do to make sure that my children have a good future. You don't believe that this is playing into the narrative of what ISIS and Al Qaeda is trying to shed. I mean, ISIS and Al Qaeda, to Phil's point, is pushing this narrative that there is a war between Islam and the West. You fully believe there's a war between Islam and the West, I guess. Yes. Yes. So you see yourself as a foot soldier somehow in a war. So you're you think that it's wise for the West to have war against the billion plus Muslims around the world? No, I don't want war, but uh, they, they need to learn tolerance. We're not the ones out committing these acts. We're not, we're not the one threatening anybody. Uh, 
You don't by think otherwise. bringing guns to a mosque while people, while families are praying inside, wearing T-shirts that say "F Islam" and shouting whatever it is you're going to shout at them as they come and as they go, you don't think that's promoting violence at all? I I think the whole thing is I, the cartoon contest, especially. I think it's stupid. Uh, and ridiculous, but it's what needs to take place in order to expose the true colors of Islam. 